Hi guys, my name is Majid from MW Technology. Um, basically today I'm going to be making a video on how to unlock your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4 and 4S on any baseband using the SAM unlock method. Now this is through Cydia, so you're going to have to have a jailbroken device. Um, and it works for iOS 5.0, 5.0.1 and 5.1. Um, since 5.1 is a tethered jailbreak, you'll still be able to unlock, but uh, same rules apply for whatever tethered uh, device that you have because if you turn it off, you're going to have to boot tethered again. Anyways, um, I did try this a few times. I messed up quite a lot, but I did the tutorial as best as I could, so follow along. And it's a little different from the instructions that you'll see online. Instead of connecting it to the computer, I just ended up rebooting or resetting the network settings. But uh, yeah, so hope this tutorial works for you guys. Let's get started. All right, guys, so um, you want to go into Cydia. And just let it load up. From there, you want to go into uh, manage and then go to sources, click edit and then add. Now we're going to be adding a repo, uh, so repo.bingner.com and you want to click add source. Once you have the repo added to your uh, sources, you want to go into it and from there you want to install uh, something that says ZAM, S-A-M, and just install it, confirm installation, and it should install onto your device. For all you guys wondering, you are going to have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network for this to work since it is downloading packages from the Cydia uh, servers and stuff. So if you don't have Wi-Fi connection, you'd want to go to a place that has Wi-Fi before you start. After it's done, reload the springboard. It's basically going to reboot your device. and then slide to unlock to get to the main page. From there you'll notice you have Sam's prefs on the desktop but you also have them through your settings so you want to go into your settings find Sam and from there you can this is the main page go into utilities and deactivate your iPhone go into method from there choose by country and carrier. For country, choose a country that you're in. For us, we're in Canada. And then carrier, we want to be choosing the original carrier, so it's Bell. And then choose the SIM ID. You might have two there, just choose whatever one and then go back and choose the other if it doesn't work. From there, go to more information and copy the ISEI uh, underneath SIM details. Take out the original SIM and replace it with the SIM that you want to be using. In our case, it's Fido. Once you've done that, you want to close the voicemail tag if you get one. And then press uh, spoof real SIM for SAM SIM. And then once it does that, you want to go back and make sure the IMSI is the one that was there. Um, just delete it and copy and paste it if you need to. If, if it's the same, don't worry about it. Um, once you've done that, go up to Utilities and then Attempt Activation. And your phone should respring. Alright, so once it starts up, you'll see it says No Service, but just to check if it worked. So go back into SAM more information and you'll see that it's activated make sure your IMEI matches your iTunes EMEI it's on the phone number just double click it um, and if it still says no service go into settings and then go into general and then go down to restore and reset network settings and hopefully when your phone reboots you'll have a signal from your carrier that you want to be unlocked to and it should all work out 
Now, the other way that everyone's uh, have on the blogs and everything, they have it so you connect it to your phone and do the activation through there um, to the computer. And I guess it works for some people, but it was just not working for me, so I tried this way and it worked. Okay, so when your phone starts back up, you'll see the 3G logo just came on. It says searching and it found Fido. So that's a good sign. That just means that your phone has successfully unlocked and you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to do a test call just to show you guys that, you know, the phone actually works and I can actually call dial out. And there you go. So hopefully this works for you guys. If it doesn't, just fool around with it, try it out. Um, and if it doesn't work, you can ultimately just restore your device uh, to whatever it was. Um, that's basically it. Afterwards, you can uh, disable the SAM module and hide SAM prefs from your desktop. So you can turn that on. And then just give your device a reboot and it'll go away. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video and it worked out for you guys, uh, give us a like and a favorite or leave us comments saying that it worked. Also check out some of our other videos. We have a lot of technology videos that you might be interested in and that's basically it. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.